Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Journey. In the last episode, uh, Bones died. No more Bones. She will never be uh, here ever again because I murdered her in cold blood. Uh, her carcass is actually right next to me right now as I'm playing this wonderful game called Journey. So, um, fuck her. Um, if anyone's interested in becoming my new co-host here on BGN, um, you can email us at facialhairgaming at gmail.com with your uh, bearded gaming resume. And uh, I will interview the first uh, 50 who apply. Hopefully, I will be able to get a better co-host than that douchebag ever was. Because, good goddamn, working with that piece of uh, melanized shiitake mushroom was a horrible experience through and through. Like... If she was this person right here, she would be buried in the sand, because fuck. I mean, seriously. Like, so unprofessional. So- Oh! What is happening? Oh, jeez. Sand Guardians. They have a war. They have risen! Run, friend, run! Here, give me your energy. I need your energy. Okay, let's go. This way. This way, good sir. I will lead you out of the pit of death and despair. We will be uh, best bros forever, or at least until uh, you get disconnected. <laughs> Come on, bro, this way. We gotta make it. We gotta jiggy make it, yo. Okay, for this part, we gotta be careful. Because uh, these guys are on patrol. And if we get caught, it spells doom for us all. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, wow. He just murdered them in cold blood. Come on, bro. This way. Okay. Oh, my God. You're alive? What the fuck? I thought I murdered you. Oh, well, thank you for the drink. You're welcome. Oh god, oh god, no. Run. Run, run. Sewer serpent sand. You're welcome to come back in time. Bro, sand serpent to is... Another sand serpent is gonna murder us all. Probably. Bro, I need your energy. My energy? Bro, no, this guy. I need oh. his energy to make a spirit bomb. Oh. To take care of the uh, sand guardians. What is this, uh, Dragon Ball? Yeah, sure, why not? Everything's Dragon Ball. Cool. Oh god, oh god, he almost killed me. Cool, bro. What are you doing? Cool story, bro! What are you doing with your laptop? I am studying. Oh, wow, like a fucking square? I'm sorry that I want to actually excel in school and studies. Uh. Anyway. Wait, was that a symbol? Ooh, a symbol. Ooh, Boom, symbol. done, got it. Come on, bro, get that symbol. I think my bro got that symbol. He got. He's got that symbol game at the top of the charts, yo. Like, he's not even in the top 40, he's in the top 10. He's in the top 10 uh, uh, on iTunes right now. Oh, who, that guy? Yeah. Oh. No, stop it. No, please, don't do it. No, bro. I don't need this in my life, man. Oh, is that the giant sex snakes? Yeah, they're the flying sex snakes that will flying murder us sex all. Snakes? With lasers that come out of their eyeballs? Yeah, actually. Oh, man, I wanted those guys at my birthday party. Why? Because. Who would ever want the giant sex snakes at their birthday party? You don't want to know. Clearly you, you piece of shit. Who's emailing me? Oh, never mind. My pay statement is in, you guys. We don't care. I do, because that means I'm getting money. Yeah, but we don't care. You know Us how, on the internet don't care whether or not you're getting money. You know money. how much I made for so many hours of work? Okay, so you remember that civil war between the movie producers and the moviegoers? Well, all the moviegoers died. $400. <laughs> oh, okay. So all the moviegoers died. Uh, the movie producers won the civil war. Cool. Uh, May 6, 2016. Okay. And uh, so they rebuilt civilization in their image, which means movie tickets are actually $30 a piece. 
And the no. concessions, like like a large popcorn and a large drink combination is now $75 with tax. Well, fuck my tits. And there's the guy who's going to bring it all into fruition. What an asshole. He's the ultimate movie producer, uh, Bobby Billen. What a dick, Bob. Fuck Bob. Fuck that guy. Fuck that nugget. Okay, oh, come on, bro. Look how awesome you two are. So cool, man. We're so good. This scarf together. Is so much longer than yours. Well, not, not that really. much longer, but like pretty much longer. Anyway. When do you have to work today? Uh, four. When the fuck are you leaving my premises? Like in like an hour and 15 minutes. Because it's 2.30 right now. Yo, you better hope that we finish this game by then. By the way, this is the point that I fucked up at the beginning. This is the yeah, point I skipped to. If you remember. And we're like 40 minutes in. Yeah, that was pretty much, yeah. You were, you were pretty spot on. With I said like an hour in. in. You know, roughly. It's all, it's all good. Yeah. Okay, come on, bro. Okay. Let's go Let's figure go. out a way to climb to the heavens. Well, I mean, you do have the power of flight. and also We have the power other. of limited flight. Yeah, but if you fly and then you recharge your flight, you're good. We are very much good. Like, look, my bro recharged my stamina for me. Thank you, bro. Stamina. <laughs> Do it. Oh, you did it. Okay, so there's, uh, there's Bob, Bob, Bob B. Billen. Douche noodle. The ultimate movie producer who is bringing forth the end of uh, movie-going society as we know it. Also, we're swimming. Oh, we this is actual water. This is actual water. We gotta just keep swimming, yo. I'm going for that fucking symbol. What is this fucking Nemo? Finding Nemo? Yeah. The best Pixar movie? Actually, yeah, it is pretty much. Not cool. really, no. Yeah, it is! I disagree. I don't, because I don't really like Pixar movies. What, what the fuck's wrong with you? I don't know. You don't like, like, Wally? -E? I never saw it. Name what? something else. Up, um, I never up, saw it. Um, The Incredibles? Never saw it. Monsters Inc. I saw that. That was decent. Um, Finding Nemo. Yeah, I saw that. One. Uh, Toy Story one, two, or three. Yeah, I saw those. Those are decent. Um. Uh, um. Um. Man, what else did fucking Pixar make? Pixar's. Brave. I did see that one. It was okay. Cars. Nope. Never saw it. <laughs> you never saw Cars. I never actually saw Cars. What the fuck, I saw man? that Herbie Kirby movie that they made. What? The Herbie, the fucking V-dub, the, the one with Lindsay Lohan. That's not even related. Oh. Well, it had a car in it, so whatever. <laughs> it's not even... Whatever. That's not even, like, closely related. Whatever, man. You say what you want to say, and I'll say what I want to say. I don't fucking and like in, you. In, in the end, I win. In the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> in the end, it doesn't You matter. had to fall to lose I it all. I lost the lead, okay? Okay, bro. Do you understand? One thing, I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I designed this rhyme to explain in due time all I know. The time is a valuable thing. Watch it fly by as the pendulum, as the pendulum swings. swings. Watch it count down to the end of the day. The clock ticks life away. It's so unreal. I hate that song. Didn't look out below. Watch the time go right out the window. Trying to hold on, but you didn't even know. I wasted it all just to watch you go. I hate that song. Who likes that song? Who even likes that Lincoln Limp Biscuit dude? What the fuck is it? It's Lincoln Parkle. Oh, right. oh, Mike Shinoa. That guy. Yeah, I uh, always, close enough, I, I guess. Let's get them and Limp Biscuit mixed up. Well, I mean, they're pretty much the same thing. Well, yeah, they are. They're that like well, not so not so much any not so much rock. anymore. Yeah. They're basically just like metal now. Well, they're basically like irrelevant now. Well, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they are though. It's true. Oh my God, is that like a fucking ribbon whale? Bro, what it meant to me will eventually be a memory of a time when I tried so hard and got so far. And got so far. But in the end, I lost the lead. Yeah, that was our inside I joke. I had to like fall 
to lose it all. But in the end, I lost the lead. Yeah. Can we play Halo after this? We should. <laughs> <laughs> this is like our inside joke for like five ever. Five, seven. Ever. Like five, seven, May 7th. Uh, 2016. Would you shut May up? May 7th, 2017, the day after the Civil War, when everyone's asshole will just be wrecked. You keep spitting. I know because I'm an enthusiastic talker. I'm like Mike Tyson. I'm like Mike Tyson up in this bitch. I'm gonna hit you. I'm I'm, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna hit you. Wait, yeah, why does he sound like that? Cause he's got a tooth gap. Yeah, but he sounds like he's all high pitched and shit. That's just his voice. It's not his fault. Yeah, but he doesn't look like he should be talking like that. You don't look like you should be talking at all. No, no like offense to Mike Tyson, whatever the fuck happened to his head. <laughs> but you know, there's there's some problems there. Okay, there's, there's no symbol. There's no symbol. I gotta go up here and talk with my bro. Yo, what's up, bro? Bro. Come on, bro. Let's do this shit. I think we should just yell bro for the rest of our lives. Bro! 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 Can you imagine if that's how our society fucking like communicated? We just yelled bro in varying In varying tones. tones. Yeah. Bro! 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 <laughs> bro! It would be like a dystopian like frat house society. <laughs> Sigma Alpha, am I right? <laughs> Whatever you say, bro. 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 Bro, you want to go play some beer pong? Bro. Bro. Gnarly dude. Sigma Alpha all the oh, way. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> okay, so movie producers. So, uh, Bobby Dylan, or Bobby Billen, whatever the fuck his name was. I think his name was Bobby Villain. Bobby Billen sent his fellow movie producers to ravage the landscape and uh, revoke any scene memberships they could find. Dicks. Because they want a world where movies are sixty dollars a piece and a popcorn is one hundred and twenty plus tax. Holy fucking! So shit. the remaining moviegoers eventually made it to the mountain, the salvation of free movies, aka Scene Headquarters, mm. in uh, Dallas, Texas. How do you know? Oh wait, Scene is Canadian. Fuck. I mean, um, in Calgary. Why not? Vancouver. Sure, B BC. And so uh, they went on an expedition to the mountain, aka scene headquarters in uh, Vancouver, BC. And um, it is unknown whether or not they made it there alive. In Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, would anyone who's watching this who lives in America even know what scene is? Uh, Next time we will uh, take a vote. Of who? America. We're both Canadian. Shut up. How are we going to tally America? Let me end the episode. No. <laughs>